Hey, good evening, everybody. Well, we are tracking flash flood watches. Look at this. Looks like now it's really going to materialize to be a serious system because of the burn areas, especially. So you can see all the screen here. These are flash flood watches, meaning conditions are correct. This goes all up and down the state of California. It'll go online beginning tomorrow up to the Ventura Slow County area. That's the Thomas Fire Man where they got hit so hard by Cedo, Santa Barbara. And then they'll start on Wednesday for LA County out towards the Inland Empire. They're going to stay online. You can see it basically through Friday morning. And that includes the lowlands too. So anybody subject to flash flood watches now. We have a lot of rain coming our way. Cold core low right here. Now the jet comes around that low, but we also have the atmospheric river, that Pineapple Express. They're going to run parallel to each other. This funnels this. It's like a conveyor belt when you go to the market and put your groceries on it. Goes down. It's just going to keep doing that over and over and over. It's like a bad opening to the Flintstones where they keep running by the same spot. Yeah, well, that's what we're going to see for a while, for a good 36 hours. There are the clouds moving in. Maybe I should watch less Flintstones. Uh, by Tuesday at 1.30, we start to see the rain moving into the north. It starts to pick up. It gets heavier, and it's just going to be on and on and on. We'll lighten it up at times. There is going to be a stretch where we pick up some heavy rain. We're trying to effort that right now. It looks like late Wednesday through Thursday morning, but you can see those yellows at about a quarter to a half an inch on some of those oranges and reds, and it's going to be steady. That's the problem, and we could pick up even more rainfall rates per hour like a half to three quarters of an inch into the burn areas. And that's going to be where the danger comes from. And you can just see it continuing to spread all over. Obviously, there'll be urban flood advisories. That's street flooding through the area. Please, if you are told to evacuate, some spots up north already have mandatory evacuations. That'll be going into effect. It is best to get your animals. If you have horses, get them taken care of. You have plenty of time right now to get it done before midday tomorrow. Get your animals and get out. Just wait it out. Go to friends, families, go to a hotel. Do what you can. Just get away if you're in one of those areas areas that could be subjected to flash flooding and debris flow and mud flow because it could be a dangerous situation. A lot of this is going to happen through the overnight periods into the morning hours before we start to dry things out on Friday. So tomorrow is the first day of spring. Won't feel like it. This is a warmer system. Will not produce much snow. As we get to the weekend, things will start to come up a little bit. We'll start to dry things out, but the damage will be done by that point in time. This is all kidding aside. Please be vigilant about this. Be with us tonight at 11. Jim Hill, Pat Harvey, and myself, we'll all be here keeping you updated. Have a great day.